I'm Darren Jordan with the top stories here on Al Jazeera. In Afghanistan, nine people have been killed in a suicide bombing at a U.S. airbase in Jalalabad. It's the latest attack from the Taliban in response to the burning of copies of the Quran by NATO forces. Alan Fish has been following reaction in Washington, D.C. The difficulty the Americans have is that they're behind events. They've appealed for calm, they said they're sorry, and that still hasn't quelled the protests that we're seeing right across Afghanistan. Certainly we know that they're talking to the Afghanis on a regular basis. They have contacts, obviously, at the highest level of government, and they're insisting that President Karzai do more. The EU has imposed tougher sanctions on Syria a day after it held a vote on a new constitution. The sanctions are part of renewed efforts to put an end to the Syrian government's crackdown on its opponents. Syrian state TV has released the results of Sunday's poll. It claims nearly 90% of voters said yes to the new constitution proposed by Bashar al-Assad. State TV in Russia says the security services have foiled a plot to kill Vladimir Putin, who's running for a third term as Russia's president. But there are suspicions over the timing of the discovery coming so close to the election. And environmentalists in the Philippines are worried that one of the world's smallest primates could soon face extinction. The Tarsier weighs just 100 grams and can fit in the palm of your hand. A tourism boom has been blamed for their decline. And you can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com.